Hey Key Texas Mom followers, today I want to do an unboxing video of a ceramic Dutch oven that I just received. It just literally got dropped off by my favorite Amazon delivery man. So I want to show you all what you get when you unbox this and a little bit about why I bought it. First of all, I want to show you all. This is packed extremely well. There's very thick foam in here. So if you're worried about this, kind of like I was about arriving and being any issues, I'll go ahead and tell you guys to take that off your mind. First comes out is the lid. This is the lid of the ceramic Dutch oven. This is probably one of the main reasons that I wanted to get this specific one. If you look on here, you will see all these little dimples all over the top of the lid. That means it's going to keep moisture in, it's going to make your food tender, and also, of course, more flavorful in the process. Each of these little dimples that are on here helps to create like a rainfall effect of any type of steam and moisture that's coming up out of your pot onto this lid, which just means everything is going to stay tasty and tender and, and juicy, right? So that's one of the reasons that I wanted to get this specific one after I saw the design of the lid. It's also, I want to remind you all, it's ceramic, so you don't have to season these Dutch ovens because it's a ceramic Dutch oven. The other reason I wanted to get this, see how thick this foam is when you get it out? It's packed well. It's packed well, y'all. The other reason I wanted to get this specific pot is because it is dishwasher safe. I don't have to hand wash this, y'all. It's dishwasher safe. It's stovetop safe. It's, and that's electric and gas. It's oven safe. And more importantly, it is grill safe. This can withstand over 800 some odd degrees Fahrenheit, which means my husband can take this bad boy out on his Kamada Joe and cook in it. And, and because it creates this rainfall effect with your lid, that means that this pot is going to help us keep everything tender coming in from the grill as well. We typically have to let meat sit for a while after we've taken it off of the grill, which means we can just place this lid on here, let it sit and cool down until we're ready to eat it. The other great thing about this pot is you can make bread. That's right. You guys know those sourdough bread bowls you can make to get your soup in the middle? You can make some sourdough in this bread bowl as well. I've seen a lot of different customer images on different sourdough bowls that they've been making and I cannot wait to try this with mine. So if you guys like quick reviews like this of products that I'm getting, head over to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash ketosis mom and I will throw that on the video for you for spelling purposes and make sure that you check out this ceramic Dutch oven. Bye everybody.